Hi guys, so welcome back to Five Years on the Taurus I guess. It's been a while hasn't it? December wasn't it the last time we met? Yeah, seems a while ago. Uh, basically we've changed it instead of doing all, all talking about the same theme but different ones each week. We're going to have our own different topic that we do every single week. So mine will be film reviews and sometimes stuff that I'm a bit geeky about. We'll get onto that at some point, I guess. So today's review is Perks of Being a Wallflower, which has been a couple of weeks since I watched it, so I might be a bit rusty on some stuff because I decided to wait too long to film this. Also, I have a cold in summer over my birthday. Yeah, that happens to me. Can't help it though. It just does. Um. My feelings when I was watching the film was that it was very hipster and that hipsters can like, I can see why they like it so much, it definitely because of Tumblr and like you see all these posts of like a weird background and then a Perks to be a Wallflower quote just on it, yeah that makes sense after you watch it, but as a fangirl kind of which is the opposite of a hipster I can still enjoy it so that's good, so that's not a negative. Just putting that out there. It can be a positive. Depends how you put it. Another thing I really like about it is the fact that it covers loads of different issues like homophobia and homosexuality overall, um, mental illnesses, depression, um, sexual abuse, like these different things, but they don't make them so obvious. If you know what I mean, it's not overwhelming you with all these different issues like you must understand these issues kind of thing. It's not like that whatsoever. It's more like um, you're watching someone's life basically and it's like a montage of their life which is brilliant because you're not exactly thinking of it as, it, as a film. You're watching it as if you're watching, I don't know, like a documentary, I don't know, something like that. It's not so in your face kind of thing while you're still learning about these issues. Also another thing I like about it is that it's not a, like a straight up romance kind of film and it's like a stereotypical teenage life kind of thing because in those it's basically boy meets girl, they fall in love, oh, happy ending kind of thing. It's not quite the same for this, especially with Charlie, like his life is kind of messed up as it is, I'm not going to give any spoilers hopefully, but um, the kind of film doesn't really show it as a romance as such except from him falling for Sam? Her name was Sam, right? It's been a couple of weeks, okay? I don't know. Also, not to fault Emma, Emma Watson's um, acting in this, but because I'm British and I know that she's a British actor, it kind of put me off the accent that she was doing. But I, I'd say that if you'd never even seen her work or knew she was a British actor, you'd probably still, you'd probably think she was American. So, good acting, Emma, because I can't do an American accent. And you can, or better than me anyway. It's a good film, I don't know how to rate these things. If any of you got ideas what my rating system should be, because I think five stars or whatever would be a bit boring, but I'll do that for the first week, um, I'd give it probably four stars out of five. Because I liked it, but I still like moaned about bits of it. It was like overall really good and funny. Like <laughs> it was my favourite part was when um Oh god, I don't even know their names anymore, and I haven't got my phone on me. Uh, when they were at a disco, basically Sam, I think her name is, which is Emma Watson's character, um, and her stepbrother had this like pre-arranged choreographed dance for this certain song, which was the one that Beth can't stop playing, which is on my phone. Uh, um, that one. Anyway, there's a song, and if Beth has a copy of it, she can play it now. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, I guess my recommendation for the week, other than that film, would be Bridesmaids, because I watched that recently, and it was really good. But Bridesmaids is a really good film too, so check that out as well. Next week I'll probably review Bridesmaids, knowing me. I've got nothing else to do. I hope you have a lovely week, and yeah. Bye. I'm putting a lot.